Friends, have you ever thought about the power of a promise? It's a commitment, a guarantee. Now imagine the power of a promise from God. His promises are not empty words. Are you ready? Let's begin this journey together. God's promises are not just for a select few. They are for everyone who believes in Him. This is your year for a breakthrough, a year to rise above every challenge, and a year to experience the fullness of God's blessings. Friends, embracing God's promises is not a passive activity. We need to actively embrace them. When we do this, something extraordinary happens. Our faith ignites. Our hope is renewed. Today is the day to pick it up again, dust it off, and embrace it with renewed faith and expectation. When we plant the seed of God's promises in our hearts, it may not manifest overnight. Faith is like the sunshine and the water that nourishes that seed. Just like a farmer tends to his crops, we need to tend to our faith. Keep watering that seed and watch in amazement as God does exceedingly, abundantly more than you could ever ask or imagine. Remember the story of Abraham in the Bible? God promised him that he would be the father of many nations. Abraham chose to believe God's promise. And you know what? God honored Abraham's faith. In God's perfect timing, Sarah gave birth to a son, Isaac. Believe that with God, all things are possible. Friends, embracing God's promises isn't a one-time event. We need to live them out in our daily lives. When we're feeling anxious, He promises peace that surpasses understanding. When we're facing a challenge, He promises to be our strength. And we walk with confidence, knowing that God is with us every step of the way. One of the most amazing things about God's Word is that there's a promise for every single day of the year. Each day is a new opportunity to discover a new promise, a new facet of God's love for us. When we make God's promises a part of our daily lives, something incredible happens. Friends, our perspective shapes our reality. If we focus on the negative, we'll find ourselves overwhelmed. But if we choose to focus on God's promises, everything changes. As we choose to walk by faith, our perspective shifts, our confidence grows, and we begin to experience the fullness of God's blessings. Friends, the Bible is filled with incredible stories of men and women who dared to believe God's promises. Think about Noah. God told him to build an ark, and he obeyed. Or consider Moses. God called him to lead the Israelites out of slavery, and with God's help he did. These stories remind us that God is faithful. He keeps his promises. One of my favorite stories in the Bible is the story of David and Goliath. David wasn't afraid. He knew that God was on his side. David's victory was about the power of believing God's promises, even when the odds seem stacked against us. Friends, there's power in declaring God's promises over our lives. When we speak His word out loud, we're releasing faith into the atmosphere. What are you speaking over your life today? Friends, God has a promise for you. It's a promise of hope, victory, and a future filled with purpose. Take some time today to meditate on God's word. Ask Him to reveal His promises to you. Your promise awaits. Go claim it. Friends, we've been talking about the incredible power of God's promises. We all face doubts. It's part of being human. When those doubts come knocking, take them to God in prayer. When doubts cloud your mind, remember this. God's love for you is unwavering. His promises are true no matter what. He sees your heart, He knows your struggles, and He hasn't forgotten about you. Think about the disciples on the stormy sea. 
They were terrified. They thought they were going to drown. But Jesus calmed the storm and said to them, Why are you so afraid? Do you still have no faith? Friends, there will be storms in our lives. There will be times when we feel overwhelmed by doubt and fear. But in those moments, we need to choose to hold on to hope. We need to choose to trust that God is in control, even when we can't see the way forward. Remember Peter walking on water? He started out strong, full of faith, but then he took his eyes off Jesus and focused on the wind and waves. That's when he began to sink. The same is true for us. As long as we keep our eyes fixed on Jesus, as long as we hold on to his promises, we will never be shaken. We can face our giants. We can overcome our challenges. We can walk in victory, even when the storms of life rage around us. Friends, in the tapestry of God's word, there's one promise that shines brighter than all the rest. It's a promise whispered through generations, a beacon of hope for dreamers and a lifeline for those facing impossible odds. This promise, etched in the heart of God, is found in Jeremiah 29:11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Just let those words wash over you for a moment. For I know the plans I have for you, not just any plans, but plans for good, plans to prosper you, plans filled with hope and a future brighter than you can imagine. This, my friends, is the heart of God for you. He doesn't intend for you to merely survive. He desires for you to thrive. This promise is a revolution for your life, an anthem for your soul. It's a promise that transcends time, circumstance, and even your own perceived limitations. God, in His infinite wisdom and boundless love, has crafted a unique and extraordinary plan for your life. This promise in Jeremiah isn't a passive guarantee, it's a divine invitation. It's an invitation to partner with God, to align your heart with His, and to step boldly into the purpose for which you were created. You see, God has equipped you with unique talents, passions, and experiences. He's placed dreams in your heart and longings in your soul. He's not surprised by your current circumstances or intimidated by the challenges you face. In fact, He can use every single one of them to mold you, shape you, and prepare you for the incredible destiny He has in store. But here's the catch. You have to choose to believe it. You have to choose to trust that God's ways are higher than your ways, that His thoughts are higher than your thoughts. You have to choose to walk by faith, even when you can't see the entire path laid out before you. This promise in Jeremiah also carries a powerful truth. It's a no matter what promise. It doesn't say if you're good enough or if you never make a mistake or if everything goes according to plan. No, it simply says, for I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. That means no matter what you're facing today, no matter what mistakes you've made in the past, no matter how impossible your situation may seem, God is still with you. He's still working behind the scenes. He still has a good plan for your life. This promise is a fortress in the storm, an anchor for your soul. It's a reminder that you are never alone, that you are deeply loved, and that God is always working all things together for your good. Friends, as we stand on the precipice of a new year, a year filled with untold potential and limitless possibilities, I want to encourage you to grab hold of this promise in Jeremiah 29 11 and never let go. Write it down, memorize it, meditate on it day and night, declare it over your life every single day, declare it over your family, declare it over your dreams. This is your year to step into your God-given destiny, to break free from the chains of fear and doubt, and to experience the fullness of God's blessings in every area of your life. Believe it, receive it, and walk in it all the days of your life. Friends, as we've journeyed together, exploring the boundless landscape of God's promises, I pray your spirit has been ignited with renewed hope and unwavering faith. Remember the seed of faith we talked about? The one we plant in our hearts when we embrace God's word? Well, 
Just like a seed planted in fertile ground, those promises, watered by your trust and nurtured by your obedience, are ready to bear a harvest of blessings in your life. This isn't about wishful thinking or passive hoping. This is about aligning your heart with the heart of God, about stepping into the abundant life He has prepared for you, and about walking in the fullness of His promises each and every day. Remember, God is not a man that He should lie. His word is true, His promises are sure, and His love for you knows no bounds. He longs to shower you with blessings beyond your wildest dreams, to see you prosper in all you do, and to guide your steps towards a future filled with hope and purpose. Now, I know some of you might be thinking, Joel, that all sounds wonderful, but what about the challenges? What about the setbacks? What about the times when it feels like God is silent? And you know what? Those thoughts and feelings are valid. Life isn't always easy. There will be storms. There will be detours. There will be moments when doubt whispers in your ear and fear tries to take root in your heart. But here's the beautiful truth. God doesn't promise us a life without challenges. He promises to be with us through every single one. He promises to be our strength when we're weak, our comfort when we're hurting, and our guide when we're lost. He promises to never leave us nor forsake us, no matter what. So embrace the journey, my friends. Embrace the highs and the lows, the triumphs and the trials. It's in those moments of surrender, those times when we let go of our own understanding and lean into His unwavering grace, that we discover the true depths of His love and the unwavering faithfulness of His promises. As we stand at the cusp of a new year, a year brimming with fresh starts and endless possibilities, I want to challenge you to make 2024 the year you fully embrace the power of God's promises in your life. Don't just read them. Don't just believe them. Live them. Write them down. Meditate on them. Speak them out loud every single day. Declare them over your life, your family, your dreams, and watch in amazement as God moves mightily on your behalf. This is your year of breakthrough, my friends. This is the year you break free from the limitations of the past, step into the fullness of your God-given potential, and experience the abundant life Jesus died to give you. So, go forth with confidence, fueled by faith, and empowered by the unshakable promises of God. I believe in you, and God believes in you even more.